hi welcome back to my channel uh, this is Caitlin's slice of life and I am Caitlin and today on the slice <laughs> just kidding I'm just being nerdy okay so today we're gonna do our August 2019 boxycharm unboxing Boop, there it is I'm trying to be a little bit closer to the camera so you can kind of see some of this makeup a little bit more and see all of my imperfections that I poorly hide. <laughs> Today we are doing, I'm holding this stuff. Let me put this down. Okay. <sighs> okay, how's that for an ominous tone to the beginning of a video? Last month, if you did not watch my July BoxyCharm unboxing, please look at it, please watch it because it was the best BoxyCharm I have ever received, ever, ever, ever. And then I get this month. And while there are products in here that I absolutely positively love, there are products in here that I absolutely positively think are a huge waste. Like, <laughs> okay, maybe that's harsh. Maybe that's mean. Okay, so there are products in here that I could have gone the rest of my life without seeing. Is that less harsh? I don't know. Okay, let's just talk about it. Let's talk about the thing that put me over the moon and I was so super excited for. And it's the Becca, which I love Becca Cosmetics, the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. And this has been on my shopping list since it launched. It comes in a little container like this. I'm gonna do an overlay video um, showing you how I apply it and um, on my skin. This stuff is 50% water. So when you're applying it to your face, you literally feel like you're wiping a wet brush across your face. It is the coolest thing, but it still mattifies your skin and takes away all the shine from your lotion or from your hydrate or from your lotion, good Lord. It takes away all the shine from your foundation, which I personally do not like. However, I need to use a luminous or dewy fin or a luminous finish foundation because I have very dry skin and powder tends to make me look dry and crepey and let me tell you this has changed my life so not only does it feel like you're putting it on wet when you apply it you can't just kind of go in and buff it on like you would a traditional powder I found that a stamping motion with the brush which you'll have seen in that overlay video actually works a lot better and I have this shade in mind I think I have the lighter of the two shades because they were sending it out in two different shades and I'm looking right now whatever okay I got the lighter shade because I'm a pasty white kid so anyways this is the container it's not a ton of product I have uh, loose powders that are a lot more product but I can tell you I will be repurchasing this over and over again like I am that sold on this product this is a $39 product and inside as you open it it's so finely milled Whatever they've done to this stuff, it's like witchcraft. Okay, so it's so finely milled that you'll actually see like puffs of powder when you open it, even though like nothing's happening. And it has a little like message written on here to keep me closed, to keep me cool. So obviously if you leave your lid open on this powder, it's going to dehydrate because it's 50% water and glycerin. So we go ahead and open it and you can like literally just, it has this really nice like net mesh in there it's messy it's not super you know it's not super user friendly for the you know for the clumsy kids i am sold on this lock stock and barrel i did not use a setting spray today this has eliminated the need for a setting spray i legitimately don't need one the reason why I use a setting spray is not for the longevity of my foundation. It's for the <laughs> setting of all the freaking powder that I put on my face so I don't look crepey and powdery and old. That's why I put it on. This girl right here. Mwah, I love you. Love you. Another thing I got in this box today. Let's just go right into this. The, you guys are going to kill me. So for those of you who watch my unboxings regularly, go check out the playlist. Wander Beauty. Wander Beauty takes a hit on my channel. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. It just takes a hit on my channel. Uh, now, this product is not bad at all. It's not bad at all, which is like the first time I've been able to say that about a Wander Beauty product. I have not had a lot of luck with Wander Beauty products. This is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil. 
And what this is, is it's a very lightweight oil that absorbs into your face very quickly, but it gives like a luminous look to your skin. I did not go ahead and put this on my face only because of the foundation I used today it was a more hydrating moisturizer. And right now in the summer, it's just too much for my skin. Is anybody else having a flashback right now? Two months ago, three months ago, we got the no pore the no, here we go again, the no pore bloom prime essence in our box from touch and soul is anybody seeing a trend like <sighs> okay so I'm gonna go ahead right here I'm gonna set this down I'm really trying not to make a mess I'm gonna go ahead and show you this product real quick it looks like that Farsali unicorn tears product that like all the Instagrammers were like dripping on their face for a while there which I can never really understand there's that one. Now this one is clear. A little bit more runny, clearly, unless I just attacked it a little bit faster. I want to show you something else. One other thing that's kind of making me go, oh, Wonder Beauty. Anybody remember this? My first review on this channel, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Serum Day Base, or the, the Rose Primer Serum. I'm sorry, I was reading the French side. Shut the front door. Okay. They all feel the exact same when I rub them in. And I bet if I took a few minutes and went and looked at ingredients, I would find that they are very similar. This is $6 or $7, maybe eight. This is 42. The Wander Beauty is 42. And I'll put down below in text like what the what the Touch and Soul one was because what's going on BoxyCharm? Like, okay, why do we need 85 of the same exact products just launched by different people for starters? And what am, what am I going to do with all this now? And like, I will use this because I actually like this one a touch better than this one. Just a touch. This one is slightly greasier than this one. But I have this one that I bought with my own money. Oh, not that I didn't buy these with my own money. But I like, I bought this specifically to do a video. And it's the same freaking thing. So I got three of them. <laughs> what am I going to do? I don't know. So Wonder Beauty got kicked around again on my channel. They're going to like hate me if I ever make it to the big times and I'm getting like PR they're gonna be like no mm -mm, don't send it to that girl forget her she hates us I don't hate you honest I really don't I just don't understand I just don't understand and the next thing I want to talk about in this box is from Ace Beauté and there is a I got a glimmer eyeshadow duo and this is $25 and this is very um reminiscent of the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I'm going to go ahead and put an overlay. I'm not going to swatch these again. I got the shades uh, Huckleberry and French Vanilla. I'm wearing them on my under eye today because I actually filmed an entire look using both my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and my Boxy Charm and my Ipsy Bag. Whew, say that three times fast. They're on the lower lid. They're very pretty. Uh, I wasn't overly like thrilled with these color up I mean I love this but this one I'm not a huge silver shadow person but I feel like it did like it looks okay like kind of smudged under there uh, I love how the pink draws like the green out of my eyes um, so these are really nice they have a good consistency they swatch really well I, they're just kind of boring and the pink did not go like I was thinking the pink was gonna go like this fluorescent like hot pink that it swatched like, I was really expecting a lot more, like, color-wise. But look how, like, faded it is. Which, it still has a place in my world. It's just not something that I was overly impressed with. Staying right on track with the eyes, we got a Tarte mascara. And Tarte gets kicked around on my channel a lot, too. <laughs> I wish it didn't because I like Tarte. I love the idea of Tarte. I love the idea of Tarte. Tarte just doesn't work for me, which again, makeup is personal. So don't ever get offended when I say something doesn't work for me. Poor Tarte's gonna get kicked around some more on my channel. I feel like maybe it just doesn't work for me. Okay, so I'm kind of talking about both, both sides of my mouth here. Okay, so I'm wearing their mascara. It's their Big Ego Tarte Mascara. And um, the brush is pretty cool. And it's got some pretty like powerful before and after shots on the box, which I'm like, mm. um, This is a very dry mascara. So if you like a drier mascara, this may be your friend. I love the packaging. It looks like Barbie. So um, I'm here for that. I have to tell you, this stuff stinks. It smells like paint thinner. Um, 
stinks enough that I actually noticed it. I love the, I do love the brush. I will give them that. I love it a lot better than the Lights Camera Lashes. I love that it doesn't hold on to a ton of product. If you can get over the smell, you're good. I will tell you that this did not give me that. I mean, I've got it now because I layer two, la two mascaras. But when you watch the when you watch the video of me applying it, you can like tell that it did a really good job of separating and defining them all, but it didn't give me huge volume. It didn't give me intense black, kind of like I like. I like my eyelashes, this is a personal thing. I like my eyelashes to be borderline spider legs. Just saying. The last thing in this box is by Steve Laurent, and this is a lip liner, and it is in the shade Vogue and it retails for $15 and this is what it looks like here I have a little overlay of me putting it on I did wear it with this lip look today it's a very basic lip liner uh, it does a really good job as far as like not dragging or drying I do like that it is a pencil liner it is not retractable so you have to sharpen it so maybe that wouldn't be your cup of tea but I mean this is a decent lip liner I'm happy to have it in conclusion in conclusion, I forgot to mention that the mascara was $23, which I thought was a little sticky for what it was, but the total value of the box this month was $144. And I mean, the products I will use, will definitely, I will use the mascara, I will definitely use the Becca powder, and I will use, oh, there went one. Every video, man, everyone. I'll use the Ace Beauté Duo, I mean, I'll use them for now because they're new, but what's going to happen, and I know this is what's going to happen, I'm going to put them into my drawer and they're going to get lost because I don't typically gravitate towards cream products. So I'm going to try to make a conscious effort and I will use the lip liner and I mean, I guess I'll use this. I don't know. What, what, why? I don't understand. It doesn't even give you that much luminosity. It's not like you put it on and you're like, oh, my face is so glowy and pretty. It doesn't even do that. It just goes into the skin. It just sucks right in. And I'd be willing to bet that there's ingredients in here that I'm not going to like. In fact, I'm going to pause this video and research it right now because I'm so annoyed. I'm literally on Water Beauty's website. <laughs> I know, I have a problem. I have a problem. Okay, so it says on here that it has castor and black current seed oil help restore skin's natural moisture balance niacinamide helps even skin tone and retain moisture so if you didn't watch my last video i will have it linked in the end here but it is about oily skin and oily skin maintenance and niacinamide is actually an amazing ingredient so i'm a little bit like okay maybe i like jumped on them a little too fast but i'm hang on i'm very surprised with the ingredient list it's actually really nice and hold on just for the sake of science. I'm going to look up the no problem ingredient list. Hold on. So I read up. I think the Wander Beauty is the better of the three. This one's second ingredient is alcohol. This is literally going to go in the garbage. Um, this one is marketed more for oily skin, whereas this one's more marketed towards dry skin. Uh, but, and this one had better ingredients than this one. But it's still really kind of annoying that we got two of the very similar products. But they are different. So I kind of like jumped on the bandwagon before I did my research and opened my mouth. We'll see. I'm going to play with this since it has the niacinamide. And it's like the fifth ingredient on the list. So I am going to play with it and see what I think. Um, so maybe the box isn't as bad as I originally thought. I will use all the products in the box. I definitely will. It just was a little bit of a lackluster for me. I guess maybe I'm getting too much makeup, I'm getting too spoiled. First world problems, right? Anyways, I hope that you all have an amazing day. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to stick around and see what's next. And I hope that I will see you all in my next video.